Hello and gents, Ro here and welcome to Neuron Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover rolling shutter. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right in and I'm going to tell you guys the basics of rolling shutter and basically like so that you've easily understood version of it because there's so much more behind it regarding frames per second and how your camera records and all that but let me just show you how it works for example we got a footage here that we worked on in previous tutorial regarding with our stabilization and when we applied the stabilization we recorded we noticed that the actual camera footage if you notice it here it begins looking a little bit wobbly and not and not really maybe even a little bit abstract when it's just recording here it's a little wobbly and, and uh, this is where the rolling shutter comes in. This part is, that's what's actually called the rolling shutter right there. And uh, so the way you're going to want to adjust this is you're going to go to the settings pane. Well, this is all within your my project, of course. I opened up my project and now I'm within my timeline. I have this footage here. So in, in your inspector pane, I'm going to scroll all the way down. As you can see, we did the st stabilization to stabilize the video a little bit. And then that's why it might apply that little bit of a rolling shutter look where it's like just it's just a little wobbly and that these are actually going straight but they're in the video they're appearing like as if they're moving I mean well they're appearing as if they're not stable or they're <laughs> like flexible which they really aren't so in order to fix that you're gonna wanna go ahead and highlight rolling shutter and uh, you can adjust this as much as you want but let's just go to high and uh, you'll notice the progress bar will go through rendering but it should go pretty quickly here. Actually, there we are. Rendering, it says background render, and that's applying the rolling shutter basically to uh, high as we did here. So you wanna go ahead and let that run. It should go fairly smoothly, depending on how long your footage or how big your footage is. And I'm, if you wanna only apply it to one clip, I think it's actually applying it to my entire project, but only to one clip, go ahead and select that clip and then change it through here as well. Oops, I think I might have just reset it accidentally. There we go. It's going much faster because I actually selected the clip. But at a pause. There we go. So we're going to let this run real quick. And then we'll show you the difference. Uh, this tends to stabilize the actual footage regarding uh, the. It's trying. It will remove the wobbly. Well, it will mostly remove the wobbly effect or look to it. So let's go ahead. Once it reaches 100% here, it should be done. I'm gonna go ahead and play this and see what kind of change we have. And then just some standard shakiness is just because of me. That's how I was just applying stabilization. But as you can see, it should look a little bit better. This is where I go in and actually shake my camera a lot just because this, was, this footage was used for stabilization. But you can see that the actual wobbly look is actually pretty much eliminated you can still see just a tiny bit there but uh, if you go to extra high that should be fixed and uh, well not but it shouldn't just make it look a lot better but that's the basics of this tutorial be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below thank you guys and later so let my life be the proof the proof of